Despite earning the rank of the nation's 11th largest economy, Philadelphia ranks number one in terms of poverty. And one in eight make less than half the income to even reach the national line of poverty. One out of four families can be labeled food insecure. And that's where Feast of Justice begins its mission. Feast of Justice is an organization that works in the community of Northeast Philadelphia to support individuals who are living here who are experiencing poverty or food insecurity. And beyond that, Feast of Justice serves as an organization that helps to strengthen the community through the programs that we offer. In fact, not just strengthening the community, but to empower transformation of the community. That's what our mission is, is to empower transformation of individuals and families and communities through all of the programs that we can offer. But the first way that we do that is by knowing that there are individuals who have a basic need that isn't being met and to be able to offer a connection to that basic need through our hunger programs. Some people are so grateful. A woman came in, and I'll never forget, she said she hadn't eaten anything for two days and she was so hungry and she heard about this place and she actually cried when she went shopping and got meats and vegetables and everything. It was a big impact. I was out of work. I had just had an operation and I didn't have any money and I didn't have any food. So money hadn't, you know, disability hadn't kicked in yet. So I got on my phone and I called and I called and it, it led me here. So I came here and um, they treated me so good. You know, I thought I was just going to come in here and get, I, all I wanted was some juice and some soup. That's all I wanted. But when I walked through the door, I got more than juice and soup. I got meats and I got vegetables and I got, you know, a lot of stuff. And I was just so happy and pleased the way I was treated here. I told them I will be back when I feel better. I come up here for the pantry because being on a limited income, you know, sometimes I need food once a month and it's a great help. And they give, they give out food in proportion to how, many, how much they have. But you know, the main thing is you always get enough to eat. One of the things I've noticed is that we are a choice cupboard in that the people go through and they pick what they want for their families, what they know they're going to eat maybe add to what they were able to buy with their food stamps. Whereas other food banks just offer you a bag of groceries. They do their best, but that's all they're able to offer, just a bag of groceries to anybody and everybody. So this way, they actually choose what their family's going to eat. And I think the camaraderie of the staff that volunteer here makes a difference in our food bank as well. Most of the work that we do here at Feast of Justice is through the blessing of in-kind donations that we receive. So whether it's from grocer partners who can give us um, food that they are not able to use in their grocery stores anymore, or whether it can come from uh, church partners who give us, who do a food drive, or a local business who does a food drive for us, or others who collect clothing or school supplies or toys, um, most of the, the programs are funded through in-kind donations. However, that only goes so far and we actually need cash donations to be able to make the rest of this program work. So the cash donations fund a number of different parts of, of who we are as Feast of Justice. It helps us maintain our space that we're in, um, including all of the, the incidentals that are associated with that and being able to make sure we can keep the lights on and get the trash picked up and, um, and have the space cleaned on a regular basis. It allows us to have supplies that we may not receive from our in-kind donations, so certain things to fill in the gaps. So if we're missing a whole category of food that we may not receive in, funding for monetary funds help us to make sure that we can have all types of foods available. Somebody that I knew, her mother was a member of the church here, and um, she told me that they were starting a food bank, and I thought that would be very interesting to help people who needed help. People don't just come here for food. They sometimes just need someone to talk to them, or even to treat them with respect, and to care about, like the one lady came and she said, my mom just died, you know, to really listen to people and care about them. The variety of, of services they have, there's anything you need help on, they can give you. I get so much more out of this than I give. The majority of the people that come here are so grateful. They thank God every day. They give you a warm hug and you just feel so good at the end of the shift knowing that you did everything you could to get them at least fed 
if not offer them some hope and some sunshine for that day. You too can be part of Feast of Justice's efforts to turn one's darkness into sunshine. Please consider a tax-deductible donation to Feast of Justice today.